Hey folks, John Davenport here from Fogrably.com, and this week on Let's Edit, we're going to be doing an HDR photo. Um, we're going to be using HDRsoft's plugin Merge to 32-bit HDR, which I think does an okay job. Um, if you want anything really, really powerful, you probably want to go with their full program, Photomatics. But for a quick plugin for Lightroom, uh, this does a pretty good job, and I've showcased it before on the show, but I wanted to do another HDR. So I thought I would do that uh, for you today. So I'm going to be using these three photos here. Um, nothing too special, just a, a nice shot in the forest. Um, and, and I think HDR will suit this scene uh, very nicely because each of these individual exposures, uh, there's kind of just not enough detail to really do anything with them. This underexposed shot, even if we bring out the exposure, you can bring out the foreground, but then you kind of lose uh, the sky quite a bit. And the same thing goes for your middle exposure. You can bring the foreground back, but you really don't ever recover the highlights in the sky to the point where they're pleasant. And here you have just have no chance of recovering that sky. So uh, what, what I'm going to end up doing is be able to kind of pull out some of the detail in the sky that you can get from this image here you can see when I pull those highlights down they turn nice and blue here um, so we should be able to recover a pretty good amount from from the uh, TIFF file it's created so let's jump in here uh, all to all I need to do is click on merge to 32-bit HDR and I'm gonna just leave it um, by correcting horizontal and vertical shifts I'm going to have it crop the aligned result. There shouldn't be too much of an alignment issue because I was using a tripod here. Um, I'm going to have it remove the ghosts. Uh, it's going to do an okay job. It's not anything profound here. Uh, sometimes it does get a little um, confused, so you may want to just not do that and use something else to remove ghosting um, if you have a significant amount of ghosting in your images. Uh, and then we're going to reduce noise on the underexposed images only and just click merge. Now this is going to take a few minutes so I'm just going to come back uh, when it's all done and I have the photo loaded and ready to go. Okay so here's our merged photograph. This is kind of what the plugin just spits out. Uh, it's a TIFF file that has been created from the raw files that I use and you can see here you still have a lot of you still have all the basic uh, white balance settings and you, you're still able to pull all of that detail out so you can still you know raise the shadows up and get a whole lot of detail there uh, you can raise your exposure or drop your highlights and so forth um, so you can edit this in much the same way that you would edit any raw file in Lightroom uh, but it contains all the data from those three photos kind of merged together how the plugin sees fit and then you have the ability to kind of change things so a little bit so let's dive in here and see what we can do the first thing I'm, I'm noticing is this area is a little bit bright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here to my highlight slider and just drop that down a little bit um, to bring back the detail there so that looks pretty good um, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is just raise up my shadows which will hopefully bring back some detail it might be a little bit too um, dark still, but we're in a little bit better shape. So let's just raise our overall exposure up. Um, basically what I'm looking for here is just to kind of bring the bulk of the data here, which is going to be dark because this is an overall dark photograph. Uh, we only really have a few areas of lightness here. So if, if you remember anything about um, histograms or if you don't know anything about histograms basically the height of each of these peaks is the amount of pixels at a certain area of darkness or lightness so you can see there's not a whole lot of light in the photograph because our pixels on the whites and highlights and even the um, you know midtones of the exposure here there really isn't that many of them um, but we do have a whole lot of blacks and shadows so what I've done is I've kind of raised those uh, blacks up to be more into the shadows and as a result we have a little bit more light coming into the photograph here. Uh, but we do have the need for maybe a little bit more in terms of blacks. 
uh, just to give that contrast and that nice look to the photograph. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to drop the blacks down a little bit. And you can see if you watch the highlights, or if you watch the histogram here, what it's going to do is it's kind of pulling the, the histogram to the left just a little bit. It's not really affecting more than just this this far extreme edge and what it's doing is it's just kind of pulling those blacks just ever so much to, to the darker edge which is adding a little bit of contrast to the photograph so I kind of like that and I'm gonna do the same thing here with the whites but uh, probably not even as much um, maybe we're just gonna go maybe about half as much so you can see here I'm, I'm at about minus 24 on the blacks plus 10 on the whites and that just kind of adds a little bit of contrast to the scene which I think uh, helps it quite a bit so the next thing I'm gonna do here is kind of add a little bit of clarity just to kind of pump pump up the detail a little bit um, something maybe maybe plus 25 and maybe I'll go a little bit on the saturated side of, of this particular photo something like that uh, what I may do later on is instead of racing the overall saturation I might go into the HSL tab uh, but we'll see we'll get there uh, in a little bit uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is just bump the warmth up a little bit here um, so we were at you know normal 5,000 K um, or 5k here um, I'm gonna go maybe about 5,500 just add a little bit of warmth into that photo uh, get a little more yellow in there and it's looking pretty good now uh, you know we've come a long way from our merged photo to this but I think we can do a little bit more so I'm gonna grab my grad filter and see what I can do here if I come in from the bottom right corner and I drop my shadows down I'm thinking that it's going to help bring a little more detail here to this particular area without doing too much to the rest of the photograph. That's my goal at least. Maybe we'll go something like here. I don't want to affect this rock too much and there's not too much shadows that I want to bring in up at the top of the photo, but I do kind of want to emphasize these shadows here. So I'm trying to do that with a grad filter. You could go through with an adjustment brush too. Um, that might work as well, but you don't have as much control over the highlights and, and everything at the same time. Um, and you don't have that kind of graduated effect, which kind of gets more pronounced as you get to the edge. So I like how this has kind of transformed everything. If I turn it off, you can see that it's okay, but by turning it on, we get kind of uh, just a little bit more of a hint of darkness on the right hand side of this photograph which I like but we do lose a little bit of warmth there so maybe I'll just bump the warmth up just a little bit in that graduated filter and I'm gonna drop the I'm actually gonna drop the um, the magenta down or add a little bit of green here so something like this I think this looks pretty good now uh, having that those harder shadows on the uh, right hand side I think really helps the image quite a bit. Uh, I am going to come in and just see what happens if I use an adjustment brush here on this rock uh, just to kind of bring it out a little bit more. I'm going to add um, just a little bit more shadow detail maybe even just a little bit of exposure to it. Um, I can drop the highlights down which will help reduce that a little bit while still allowing me to bring in some detail there and that's pretty good I think so I can maybe go just a little bit more down around here get this a little bit there so something something like this looks pretty good I am gonna go into my HSL tab and what I'm gonna do first is look at my luminance here which will allow me to kind of bring those greens a little bit more under control. You can see originally they're kind of towards the toxic end of being green, uh, you know, something that doesn't look really all that um, all that pleasant to be around. So I'm going to pull that uh, luminance slider for the greens down a little bit, which will darken those up. And then I'm going to go through here 
and maybe drop my uh, saturation down just a little bit, you know, maybe minus 10 or so, just to bring a little bit uh, back there. Okay, so I think overall we've come quite a ways. I think it's a lot more interesting. The last little bit that I want to do is I want to try and get rid of this um, this brush here, this little branch, whatever it is. Um, it might be tricky because it's in a kind of a tricky area um, with a lot going on, but we'll see what we can do. So the first thing I'm going to do is just try and get rid of the edges as best as possible. So um, I've got this edge under control there. This shouldn't be too much of a problem. We can just kind of match it up with that piece of wood there. Um, let's see, right here we're going to match up. We're going to try and match up anyway. The, this piece, you know, maybe over here. kind of uh, one of those things that just takes a little playing around with. Uh, so something like this looks pretty good and then we can come right in here and do the rest of it um, really pretty easily I think. So something like this. Uh, so that's a really quick job but it does pretty much get rid of it. Um, you know if I wanted to I could go in and, and kind of clean up just a little bit more right in this general area here and hope that of course it's going to pick something way over here. Um, sometimes Lightroom's decision making when it tries to uh, heal something isn't really always spot on so you're going to want to move this uh, over. So that looks a lot better I think uh, not having that branch there um, I think it looks a little better. So anyway, here was my original image, and here is the final image that I'm going to go with for this Let's Edit video. I hope you liked the, the uh, show this week. If you did, please click the like button on the video. It does help um, YouTube share this video out with more people, and then more people get to watch my content. If you did like this video and it's your first time watching a full crop of the Let's Edit video, please click the subscribe button and stick around for more. There's always more content on the channel. I will see you again soon. Bye for now.